There comes a point for every father when it's time to just let his little piglets roam free. All right, Dad, let me borrow $20. I'm not an ATM. But now is not that point. Does he look pretty? This looks a little short to me. It's sort of like a rite of passage. You are not fit to teach this young man how to drive. Even when family embarrasses you. Um, Have y'all had your sex talk with your parents and all that? Uh, you want them to learn from their mistakes. You was teaching Sadie how to drive, and she ran over everything oh, in the Duck Commander parking lot. I guess they have to grow up sometime. Sadie, you almost ready? Yes, ma'am. Don't rip the tag off. Let me cut it off. I don't want it to rip like the other one. I know. The other one? Yeah, she has to have, like, two formals and a suit for the football game. For what? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Sadie got nominated for the homecoming court, and I couldn't be prouder. She's really following in the old man's footsteps. Except I never had to buy three dresses for the homecoming dance. Well, they have to have this thing that they do during the thing to, with the two dresses. That they do. Well spoken, son. <laughs> OK. What do y'all think? I love it. It's perfect. Pretty good. Does she look pretty? Dad? Does they look nice in her dress? Yes. That's but it's the kind of nice that the boys at school are going to think is really nice. And that's going to make me really uncomfortable. Is that all of it? Up. Because she's really young, and she's really my daughter. This looks a little short to me. And I'm really accurate with a crossbow. You think it's too sexy? <laughs> she's Lord sexy, Lord. and she knows it. Look, if you're not happy with it, then you can take her back shopping to find another one. Because uh, no, where? Do what really? you gotta do. No, you're her daddy. Never mind that we spent a week finding that one. Corey, if I can run a company, I can go buy a dress. Your daddy obviously hasn't shopped with Sadie lately. Yeah. <laughs> We're dress shopping. All right, let's get this show on the road. This shouldn't take three or four minutes. Si. What? This is going to take longer than that. It's her big day. Thanks, Dad. 30 minutes tops. We'll be in and out. Oh, please. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm doing good. How are y'all today? Good. We're here to return a dress. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, yeah, there's not enough material. All right, let's get this crap over with. This is going to be some quick and painless dress shopping. Are y'all wanting to look for something totally different? Yes. No. This is going to be some painless dress shopping. What are we wanting? Short. Long. Short. This is going to be some dress shopping. Dad, I really like this one. No. No way. It doesn't have a top. Look, it's halfway done. Dad. I don't think Sadie understands what clothing is. We wear clothes to cover our things. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear a strapless. Uh, 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 whatever you're fixed to say, no. All our things. We need full coverage. <laughs> hey, your bank's car full, darling. You want to trip the light fantastic with me? Whoa, hey. All right, look here. When I was young, I used to practice talking to girls by talking to mannequins. Here you go, darling. Don't lose your head. Um, Dad, Uncle Sai's talking to the mannequin. I know, I'm totally aware, but that's the least I got to worry about. Here, darling, you need this. If you're going to be a ladies' man, hey, you got to know about the stuff that girls think is nifty. You need fall colors, and then if you accessorize it, you know, it may work. But most importantly, hey, you need to know how they like to be handled. Grab your partner by the arm and dance her around. You got to have the right touch. Not. Sai. What? That's enough with the mannequin. Hey, look, they don't make them like they used to. Heck, no, that's too short. I know Sadie is tall for her age, but these dresses are too short for her age. I like what you're doing with the sleeve, but no. No. Is this an appropriate dress for my little girl? No. Am I having fun? Heck, no. Is anyone having fun around here? Uh-uh. What's wrong with this one? Think defense, full coverage. Dad. That's spread offense. Say, turn around, go back in there, and we're gonna act like that never happened. I'm calling Mom. Could things get any worse? Sadie. Hello, honey. Hello, baby. Yes. Is that a cane? Yeah. Yes, they can. Get out of here and get that cane out of my well, face. Well, good day to you, sir. Hey, good day also, madam. So take that off. I'm not paying for it. No. Nah. That's it. That's what it needs to look like. Dad. Find that dress and you got it. Dad. 
You're taking all the fun out of it. Ha! What are you doing here? Sadie texted me. It's been a disaster. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's back here sitting in the dressing room, pouting. Oh, my goodness. Mad. Come on, come apologize. Apparently, I messed up, but I don't think anyone could have seen this coming. I had a feeling it was going to go like this. Did you? Well, maybe Corey. And John Luke, too. Willie. But besides them, nobody would have seen this coming. Sadie. Huh? Hey, baby. Hey. You look beautiful. Willie, you got something to say? I apologize. I may have been stupid in some ways. Yeah. That's a good dress. That's the one. Where I never saw that this one. This has always been the one, Dad. Willie, that's the one we had bought in the first place. I had this at the house. Looks fine. All right, grief all right. hug. We're all good. Uh, I guess they have to grow up sometime, but I still think the full-length denim dress should make a comeback. Mm -hmm. Si, get out of here. What? This is my family, what? not all you. Right, no hug from Uncle Si after I got all dressed up? We don't need Cajun pimps in here. Oh, hey, good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Was it bad? Horrible. No, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Momo. Hey, hey y'all. So what are y'all doing? Just going bowling with some friends. Mm -hmm. I hadn't bowled in a long, long time, but I sure like it. Wow. Maybe we should go sometime. Yeah. It won't take me but a minute to get my stuff. I love bowling. Oh, we have to leave right now, though. OK. OK, let me shut this. Let me, shut. Um, let me put this in here. I love writing with the little pencils on the little pad. Just real quick. Mm -hmm. Right right now? Let me just get this all put up here. Um. Let me shut this off. And I would never miss a chance to spend more time with my grandbabies. This is going to be so much fun. How you doing, guys? Good. Hey, how you doing? You know, my grandmother never used to go out with me when I was younger. <gasps> Look at those colorful balls. That's why I try to be open to new things when it comes to my grandkids. I'm mean, I'm OK. I mean, Catherine. I just love being around them. It's been 20 years since I've had a ball <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> I got to go get the bowling shoes. Yeah, that's a good idea. OK, I'll be right back. Bowling with Mama K. They might make a movie on that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these girls are after John Luke. Yoo-hoo! Got the shoes. I'll be like his wingman. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I used to do the same thing for Cy. I had that extra spray put in there, because I know you got that fungus last time. Remember that? But with John Luke, I, I don't get fungus. Either. I got a lot more to work with. Everybody gets a little fungus. Yes, I do. Who's going to go first? I think I will. Look at these balls. They're as big as my bosom. Woo! Here I go. There she goes. Come on, Memo. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so much fun. Makes me feel like I'm 16 again. Oh, look at it. Go, go. <laughs> Go. I don't care who wins. Uh oh. Just got one. That's what I did. Just got one. Yeah, too slow. I just want to play. And I'm like, I was like, no, he wouldn't do that to you. Y'all talking about boys? No, <laughs> no. What are you talking about? Um, Have y'all had your sex talk with your parents and all that? Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, let me just give you some little pointers about you it. You don't know. It's okay. I'm going to use this moment with my grandkids as a real bonding experience. There's things married people do, and then there's things dating people, and you don't do the same thing. You don't want to do that. Back when I was a kid and bowling all the time, half the fun came from just sitting around talking. When the hands start reaching around, touching things, oh, no, nope, don't do that. Whispering in your ear all these sweet nothings. They might turn into something. You don't want to do that. You know, I just wish somebody gave me this speech 50 years ago. Holding hands. You don't want to do that. No tongue. Too early. We don't want to do that. Pretty hair. Don't do that. And you're the man. You don't do that. If she gets a little too close, you don't want to do that. I learned the hard way, buddy. Did I ever tell you about the time your father was conceived? Are you kidding me? This is the most fun I've had forever, Sadie. 
so glad y'all invited me. This is awful. It's really a shame that some grandkids don't want to hang out with their grandma. All right, Mama, I think it's time to go. Ready to go? I'm just glad that's not the case with John, Luke, and Sadie. Well, I guess we can just come back. We'll figure it out. We'll talk Hi. about it. Hey, we're going to come back. Make a date. Yep. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. Good job, Will. Yep. Good Thank game, you. Will. Yep, you look good out there. Hi. Hey, can I drive? Have you lost your mind? It's raining, son. Well, I have my permit. He does need to practice, even in the rain. Yeah. All right, we'll split the difference there. I'll let you back the truck out, and then I'm going to drive home. You good with that? Mm hmm All right, cool. So it's kind of a tradition in our family that Willie teaches the kids how to drive. All right, well, you got this. Y'all clear behind me. Stop. Oh, is that how you're doing? Put it in park. OK, well, you did You didn't good. kill anybody or <laughs> injure anybody. Good job. Good job, Will. Thanks. He's been doing really good. I think he, right, might, he's be, a big man. Think hey. he might be our best driver. Cut, cut it down to direction, son. Si, I think I know what hey, I'm doing Hey, you here. fixed to run over something? Hey, run over nothing. Hey. Hey, oh. I told you you was going to run over si. something. I just bumped it. Oh. Coach, you all right? Oh, okay. All uh, right, sorry about that, Coach. I si, see what you hey, did. Dan, but one guy around here is qualified to teach you how to drive a vehicle. That'd be yours truly. Oh, no. OK. The only thing he can teach you driving-wise is the drive to at a restaurant. Not well, true. May I take your order? Yep. Four massive burgers. I've drove everything from a Jeep to we an know. M1 Abrams M1 tank. M1 Abrams tank. We get okay. it, sir. So. Then I'm qualified. I'll get my driver's manual. A manual? And I'm going to see who's best according to the manual. That's a good plan. Y'all ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Put your seatbelt on first. Safety always first. That's one point off. Well, I, no, I had not technically put it in drive. Wait, hold on. One more thing. You got to check your mirrors. You got to check and see if there's any children. Whoa. Uh oh Minus two points. Hey. Too heavy on the gas pedal. You are not fit to teach this young man how to drive because you've had too many accidents. You run over and backed into me in the parking lot in my own truck. All right. Oh, so I haven't had a wreck in like 20 years. Oh, darken you three points. For what? Going too far past the stop sign. That's right. Another minus one, no blinker. Well, you don't have to put a blinker on or turn Oh, yeah, on. you got to put your blinker on. You was teaching Sadie how to drive, and she run over everything oh. Oh, hey. in the Duck Commander parking lot. Not true. Hey, look out. Will, I'm hands down the best driving teacher. Oh, docking you two points for driving with one hand. What are you talking about? It says it right here in section B. Section B. On page 23. 23, boy. All right, Uncle Sides, it's your turn. All right, first thing to do, right, safety boys, first, safety boys. Safety hey. first, boys, hey. Now, OK, check the mirrors, OK, yep, mm-hmm. Turn the blinker on. Hey. This thing got a little power, boy. All right, that's minus 10 points. What? There you go. We're going <laughs> hold it. way what? over no, the no, speed limit. Hold it, hold it now. Knocking for crossing the white line on the right. What do you mean cross the white line? All right, that's minus five points for you. What do you mean minus five <laughs> points? I've been driving since I've been about four months old. Huh? What? Yeah. My dad used to set me in his lap in the old Model T. Look, we're fixing to pull what is known as a U-turn. Starting right now, then here's the U part of it. That's a circle. So we're making what is known as a circle turn. Minus 20 points. <laughs> this is the guy you want teaching how to drive? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> so what have you got? Y'all see your tabulizer in there? Both of y'all flunked the test. What? We've had our driver's license for way longer than you have. I have learned a lot from what you have taught me, but I have come up with my teacher. Who? John Luke. That's the worst idea ever. John Luke's had five wrecks in like a year. I think so. He rolled his dad's pickup. He's totaled one of my trucks. Well, those who can't do, teach. Oh, boy. Come on! Raise it. Please! Gotcha. Give me that pot! I'm so glad yeah, the club didn't come. Look at these boys. Reed, you're trying to bluff your dad. Reed left school to pursue his music career, and he's living at home with us when he's not on the road. One of the positives about that is he finally gets to join me at the poker table. 
All right, Dad, let me borrow twenty dollars. Hey, Chase, he's a young struggling artist right now. Okay, well you loan him the next twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for supporting the arts, but it does present us with challenges. You need to be doing an odd job so you can make your little poker money. You know what I mean? I'll pay you back. Put the same thing on the books for me. I'm not an ATM. What are you doing here? Where's Jason? Oh, I'm filling in for him. For real? Yeah, I'm trying to earn extra money. So he's not working here anymore? Well, he is. We're splitting his salary. What's the split? 60-40. Oh, I'd ask 80-40. 80-40? That doesn't yeah. add up to... Yeah. What are you talking about? It adds up to me, I get 80, he gets 40. <laughs> Reed is like a breath of fresh air compared to Jace's dreary demeanor. If you look up emo redneck in the dictionary, there would be Jason's face. I'm telling you. I will say, I've seen you make more duck calls than Jace. Yeah, I vote Reed is in. I'm with it. We're not, yeah, y'all yeah. don't get to vote on who gets to work here. This is America, son. All right, forget that. That's Look, right. Reed's making good duck calls anyway. You guys should be working like Reed. Yeah, but he doesn't know any better yet. That's right. Look, it's his no, first day Reed, do not listen to a word they say. We'll get this straightened out. Reed, you ready? You ready? What the heck? What the heck? You can't send your son up here to take your place. Well, he took my shit. That's not the way it works, Jess. <laughs> did you do a good job? Yeah, I did build a lot of duck calls. He actually did a real good job, so that's uh, not that, the point. That is the point. We got him a new name. It's called Better Jakes. That's your nickname? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. What I've noticed about the guys in the duck call room is that whenever I'm not there, the quality of nicknames goes way down. Less annoying. He built more than you did. Easier on the eyes. And he increased our productivity. Most of all, he keeps his mouth shut while he's working. And he smells better. I don't know the real reason for that. It's just a fact. He looks better. He's got cool tattoos. He's much more fashionable. He's better than you are, so it's better Jace. I mean, the best you can come up with is better Jace. Well, I got a nickname for y'all. Jealous Jace. But our name ain't Jay. It's calling them Jay. So that that makes sense. That's the same concept. <laughs> All right, look, Reed, if you want a job, I can give you a job right now, because you earned it today. That'd be awesome. I appreciate it. OK, so I'm dying to know, how was work yesterday? We had fun. It was easy. They're calling him the better Jace. Better Jace. Wait, yeah. there is no better Jace. They said that I look better, Wait. don't talk as much, mm. and I smell better. Oh, yeah. I don't know where they got that from. You got to remember, these guys are, uh, they're kind of lost without a leader. So they try to come up with clever nicknames, and uh, you know, that one's pretty weak. Better Jace. I thought it was pretty good. It don't even rhyme. You know, I have always thought I would like to be a fly on the wall in that duck call ring. Jelp breaks wind every five minutes. Mm. Willie offered me a job today, too. What? A real job. Doing what? Same thing that they do. You don't seem real excited about it. I just want to be able to pay you back. Reed, duck calls is what I do. Is that something you think you could do the rest of your life? Probably not. I didn't think so. Especially not with Cy in the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love to build duck calls. I've been doing it since I was about this tall. So, Reed, you're fired. All right, where are we going? Right here. Right here. This is it. This is the stage. There's no one here. All right, we're here to see Better Jace. Let's go. Are y'all still on now? You know who started out doing this? B.B. King, Rod Stewart. You know what they got in common? They both wear shiny clothes. They both have huge hair. They're both not Asian. No, I just told you. He started out playing on the street. And just like building duck calls, you gotta call ducks. You're gonna call people with this guitar and your talent. Y'all wanna come listen? Free concert right here. There's a guy right there. Thank you, Gowan. Hey, they fit to play right here. Look, hey, here, here comes something right here. Doing what you love, you showed some courage. I think the future is bright. Yeah. Thank you, Mia. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Papa Phil usually treats the granddaughters like princesses, like he'll do anything for us. But then once it comes to the boys, he just is like turning them into men. Let's take John Luke with us. We're gonna train him to find him a squirrel-eating woman. I would consider it an obligation 
to my grandkids to show them the great outdoors, as they say. The last thing I would want for my grandkids is they grow up to be nerds. Well, they like to teach us like lessons. Anybody got a cell phone on? See this thing right here? You never sweat using this. You never work. You're just on this, just like this. See right here? If there's ever something to like clean up or like do, Outside, we're always the workmen that get sucked into that. So you're gonna learn the old Robinson way of clearing your garden spot, smooth as a baby's butt all the way. It's a new concept for y'all, work. Like on that football field, like we had to clear the whole thing even to teach us a lesson and we had fun afterwards. This right here will help your hand-eye coordination beyond anything you ever thought. Take about Football. Lateral. Oh, I know. See what I'm saying? Reed, I think we just got Mr. miyagi by your grandfather. Reed's the oldest, and he worked there one summer, and oh, he hated it. All right, boys, show me what you got. Footwork. Y'all gonna have the toughest feet on the whole squad. <sighs> oh, crap. Learn how to play with pain. <laughs> Pain's a good thing. Free labor. Can't beat it. 